This local sports report is brought to you by Allstate Insurance, a proud member of the Guelph community, supporting youth athletics. For a free, no obligation quote for home and auto insurance, contact one of their trusted advisors. Call Allstate at 647-503-9982 to speak with your local Guelph Allstate representative. It was an outstanding grade 11 season for Ty Dokus with the John F. Ross Royals in District 10 football, winning a championship. Ty joins us now from Guelph. First of all, Ty, what an amazing season it was for you in grade 11, winning that championship the way that you did. What are some of your memories and reflections on the past season? Well, first off, playing in the D10 championship was about a miracle because we went 0-5 the prior season. And then, like, the best memory I had was getting that sack on, on the quarterback, stripping the ball. It was just amazing. It was amazing, yeah. Talk about the turnaround, like you said there, going from that 0-5 season, obviously disappointing a couple of years ago. But I give a lot of credit to the coaches as well as the players to rebound the way that you guys did, sort of that mental fortitude to be able to get yourself back on the horse and obviously have an outstanding year last year. What do you attribute that success to and that ability to turn things around? I just think we had really great leaders and like Teo, Jean Gaston, Nico, uh, me, Cam House, Josh Durfee, all great leaders. We all brought each other together as a family, offense, defense. No problems throughout the season. Like, if other teams might have had problems, but we were just clicking, just clicked. How about those Gaston boys? They were uh, something to watch. Let's just put it that way. Quarterback and running back. Uh, just an extremely, extremely talented family. I know that you know the family really well. Uh, what kind of impact did, did they really have on the field, but also just in their leadership ability? Because they had the ability, the both of them, to take over a game like that. Well, Nico, throw the ball. Teo, run the ball. But Nico can still run the ball. Like, I, I don't – think I've ever seen a quarterback as versatile as Nico he's dual threat I think those two being really close to each other Teo taught Nico to be more of a leader on the field obviously they've had a ton of success and you know they were a big reason why obviously the Royals were able to win that D10 championship let's talk about you a little bit Ty you're a linebacker an outside linebacker and you were a captain a defensive captain in your grade 11 season a, what was your leadership role or what kind of things were you trying to teach the other guys? But B, how much of a compliment was that to you that a young grade 11 guy like that could be a defensive captain at a young age? Obviously, you've got an extremely bright future, but to have that responsibility so early in your football career must have been pretty special for you. Well, to say I've been kind of used to it. Like I started in grade nine, got a touchdown as a grade nine against the St. James Lions who went to the D10 championship that year. Um, it was just, I felt, I felt great. Like, I've been best friends with Cam House, who was the other defensive captain. We've been best friends since we were three, and it was just, it was a dream come true. We've been talking about it since we were, like, grade five, grade six, and, and it actually came true, which really, really, like, made a big difference on my life, yeah. Uh, what's your future in the game? I know you're very passionate about it. I know you have interest in potentially playing football at the next level, but a lot of hard work is going to go into it. Obviously, last year was a successful year. You've also played some club football. When you look at where you want to be in the future, specifically when it comes to football, uh, what are some of your goals and how do you plan to get there, Ty? Well, I'm hoping to play for like a university right after high school because um, – it's just what I've been working for since I was in grade eight. I've been constantly working out, working out. And actually this year, uh, right after the football season, I went from weighing 160 to 195 currently, which was big because I went from not being able to bench a plate to being able to bench 210. And I've been grinding. And in, in school, I've been grinding and – my dad has been like one of the biggest influences on me. He said, he said, Ty, what do you want to do with your life? I said, I want to play football and I want to make a difference in the game. And I also want to make a difference as a person and whatever job I do after university, you know, 
the coaches at John F. Ross are obviously guys that uh, they have experience. They have championship pedigree. John F. Ross has been an outstanding high school football school for as long as I can remember winning numerous championships and putting a lot of guys on to the next level. I think that's great. You sort of have that, that motivation that you just spoke about both from an academic perspective, as well as a, a football perspective. Um, is, are those some of the messages the coaches give you at Ross and how have they helped you? Okay. So Matthewson, Mr. Matthewson uh, brought me in one day. He said, what do you think you should be doing? I said, I need help with English and he's a great English teacher. So he's been helping me with English. Uh, Coach Bob Milne, incredible guy. He's played football at John F. Ross with my uncle actually and my dad. So, uh, and Mr. Slater was their coach. So Coach Slater, who coaches me now, I convinced him to get back into the game and he, he did. And he said, he thanks me all the time for it. Because, of, because we won the D10 championship this year. So I have a great su support system and great friends, and hopefully I achieve the goals that I'm setting for myself. You know, I keep working hard. That's one of the focuses for sure. The Guelph Junior Griffins, uh, last one I want to touch on with you, Ty. Sean Faulkner, the head coach of the Junior Griffins, Junior Varsity team. I know you've had a wonderful experience playing club football over the past couple of summers. Just speak to the Griffins program and Sean specifically, uh, the difference that they've made in making you a better football player and person. Okay. So first thing I'd like to say about Coach Sean is get to the line because – when you know, get to the line, you did something wrong, you run, you run. It's, it's all about discipline, right? Football is about discipline, um, becoming together as a family. Uh, and Coach Sean was really good at making that happen because uh, growing up, I grew up with his son, um, Malik. Malik, great kid, and I see where it comes from. So, um, yeah, he actually, he works with my dad outside like they work at uh, a school in Guelph and it's just really good we have a great relationship great season congratulations again on winning that d10 championship we look forward to September great 12 year for Ty Dokus a bright future ahead of you keep working hard my friend and thanks for the time thank you very much for more highlights, visit our website, 519sportsonline.ca. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.